I just heard a rumor that we don't have any videos of Cosmo sanding primer. I'm like, what? We have six million videos. I can't believe we don't have that. So if we do or if we don't, here's another one. Okay, so here is an absolutely textbook perfect setup for Cosmo. Here's where we do the hand sanding. Then it goes on to the robot. And then from the robot, it goes over to the inspection table. Then we inspect it and put it on a rack. This is the best way to run this cell that we've found so far. So this door, we're gonna do the sanding on. As you can see, it's one coat of primer. Uh, looks pretty good, some decent coverage. Let's sand it. So the first thing we're gonna do is get that door loaded on there. Once the door is loaded, turn on the vacuum, and then we're gonna hit the go button. The robot's going to come down and measure the style rail, thickness of the panel, depth, slope, everything you can imagine. It's learning everything about this door, which we can also turn off if need be. So despite the fact that this one's running really slow, the customer has uh, requested a pretty deep cut on this primer. Uh, you still won't see any sand throughs, does a fantastic job. Probably, you know, one of the benefits is remember the operator's sanding here while the robot is sanding over there. And that's the magic. One of the biggest challenges we have when we're talking to customers is teaching them the concept of single piece flow. Everybody says, well, you know, should you have done a, a pendulum machine or a feed through machine and we just say no the power of single piece flow cannot be understated and as soon as you uh, understand that very counterintuitive principle you start to realize exactly how fast this machine is remember that the number one rule in manufacturing is subordinate all activity to the bottleneck and so some machines may seem faster, but those are not your bookends. Your bookends are not from the time the part goes in the machine till the time the part comes out of the machine. The critical factor to remember, it's from the time the part shows up to be sanded till the time your part can be sprayed again. That's the actual value stream. And that's what we focus on. There are a bunch of other pretty critical components. Don't forget, there's still a hand sanding component to anywhere where the machine is not gonna be sanding. And there's an inspection component, which is all too often missed. So I'm about to reveal our average time per door. Uh, we just sanded a rack of doors and even having the robot slowed right down to get that extra grind. Um, the doors had a little bit of pitting the customer wanted to get out. Uh, that was no problem so i'm going to reveal our time and moving forward we're going to give everybody a free trial period on our quantum lean website and you'll see the timer that we use that's awesome for keeping your operators on track so here's the time per door that we just did minute 48 now that's not bad at all uh, and remember everybody's time will be a little bit different because your, your coatings are different, the sanding requirements are different, but this particular customer, on average, was spending about five minutes a door to uh, hand sand them. We got the exact same result in a minute and 48. So we more than cut the time in half and made sanding a wonderful, pleasurable job. So one of the things that we do here is we use a block with a sharp corner so we're sanding this face and that edge at the same time. Saves a lot of time versus holding a piece of sandpaper in your hand and trying to sand that edge. Just a pro tip. that inside edge sanded now we're ready to swap it out with that door that's already been sanded start and now that one's 
ready to go. We just push start. Off we go. And this is sanding one coat, a, a thin coat of gray primer. So we all know how difficult gray primer is. And as you can see, Something the customer did request was a really good stand along that inside edge so we can see we just slowed the machine right down to do that inside pass. You have all the control in the world. You speed it up, slow it down, whatever you need to do. We we'll also control how many times it goes around there, and we have it set to two. So that could be one, ten, whatever you want. So if you want to get rid of palm sanding out of your factory, give us a call. We're here to help.